Hi, my name is Susan Bernhard. I'm on the board of directors of the Customer House Maritime Museum. Myself and Jennifer jo uh, Germain are co-chairs of the Maritime Tree Committee. Uh, we started, this is the third annual Maritime Tree event. We started this event during the pandemic to bring light to the waterfront into downtown when everything was dark. The life ring was chosen as a respect to the Coast Guard here at the on the river and as well as life support going out to the community. Uh, the program was designed to include all the nonprofits, raise awareness for all of them that weren't get generating money during the pandemic, as well as bringing visit, um, residents down to the local businesses to see what we could do to raise everyone up. As we always say, a high tide raises everybody. So here um, we are excited for the third annual and we're looking forward to lighting the trees back. Third annual Maritime Tree. I'm Chris Silva, the executive director here at the Custom House Maritime Museum. I want to remind you, don't forget to buy a life ring, create a ring as a memorial to celebrate family, your business, or just as a kid craft. I would like to introduce the co-chair of the Maritime Tree fundraiser, Susan Barnard. Thanks, Chris. Thanks everyone for coming. I'm Susan Bernhard. I'm on the board of directors of the Custom House Maritime Museum, and I'm co-chair along with Jennifer Germain of the third annual Maritime Tree event. So thank you for coming tonight and kicking off the 2022 holiday season for us here. We're here to light the tree and listen to this wonderful Newburyport Choral Society sing for us this evening. So yay. Uh, speaking of music, <laughs> For the, we have a sing-along and there is some QR codes so you can use your phone and we'll pull up PDFs of the uh, song sheets. And when it's time, Jack will let us know and we can start singing. On, we have four tables in the back. Um, one is a free hot chocolate table. The other one is rings for the children to decorate and put on the tree or to take home, also free. And the third table is our life ring table by lifering.com. And that's uh, supporting the operations here at the Custom House as our annual fundraiser for the museum. So please, if you can help us out, for those of you who have already decorated tree, a ring, as you can see many have, we thank you. And we look forward to anyone who wants to put up another life ring. Uh, at this time, we'd like to uh, thank our sponsors. They are Institution of Savings. I know, my camera's the other way. Institution of Savings, Jack Weston and Jane Cousins, Iron Tree, Bentley's Real Estate, Water Street Realty, Darling Consultant Group, Finner and Nicholson, Stone Ridge Properties, Matter Communication, Fritz de Guglielmo, CPAs, Plum Island Coffee Roasters, Mass Cultural Council, and Newburyport Local Council. We're very grateful for our sponsors for giving the support to the museum, but also to bring the holiday spirit here to the waterfront. They will be here for a month. The tree will be lit for a month along with music Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for all of you to enjoy. Um, and before we, uh, one last note, I want to thank Finner and Nicholson for being the student ring sponsor for the third year. We have rings uh, decorated on the tree by Bressingham School. Newburyport Youth Services and River Valley Charter School. So thank, I'd like to thank everyone who has been participating and give a big round of cheers. But thanks. At this time, I'd like to thank my Maritime Tree Committee who has been working really hard. So, and all the volunteers are here tonight. So be patient, <laughs> we'll do our best. At this time, I'm gonna introduce Jack Santos, who's the current board chair of the Board of Directors of the Custom House Maritime Museum, but more importantly, he's on the Maritime Tree Committee. Let's give her a big hand. Yeah. Thanks, Susan. So I want to just tell you a little bit about some of the things we've got in the park here. It's uh, like, for instance, that piece of artwork, which is uh, the Newburyport Art Association put up for us, and it is uh, Joseph Ferguson's Chroma. 
It's a uh, it's a sculpture. He does them in his studio in Weston, Massachusetts, and he has sculptures at the Harvard Divinity School at the Burlington Sculpture Park. And we love doing this tree event because a lot of nonprofits come together and contribute and are part of it. For example, Lowell's Dory from Lowell's Bulk Shop. Then don't forget December second and third. They've got their open house coming up this weekend. And get your tree at Lowell's. And then, of course, we also have, let's see, oh, the Yankee Homecoming Food Bin. I hope that some of you, or many of you, brought this uh, food item and put it in the bin. They're helping along all year long, not just the Yankee Homecoming, to help alleviate food insecurity. Opportunity Works has uh, donated a tree topper, and the firehouse has helped, the Museum of Old Newberry has helped, the Newberry Port PTO, the Newberry Port Horticultural Society. Yeah, they help uh, with the lawns uh, and uh, the gardening around here all year long. The uh, Community Service of Newberry Port, our neighbor's table, and the Newberry Port Coral Society, which is, we are all uh, really uh, waiting to hear, uh, hear them. Uh, the Coral Society is going to lead us at the end, in a uh, the performance, the sing along of Frosty, the the snowman, but uh, we have with us the Newburyport Coral Society director Ryan Turner. Ryan, if you can wave your hand, there he is. And uh, I just need for those of you who don't know about the Coral Society, let me just say a few words about them. The, uh, the, they were founded in 1935. They're one of the largest community coral societies in New England and one of the nation's oldest coral groups. 125 singers. We're thankful that they're here to uh, sing for us tonight. And if you can't get enough of them tonight, make sure you go December 10th at 7.30 and December 11th uh, at uh, 2 30 at the Belleville uh, Belleville's uh, Congregational Church on High Street. So with that, let's just sing, I don't know, one or two songs. Yeah, want to go right into it? Okay, good. So we're going to do a countdown. Want to do the countdown? Let's do the countdown. Let's do the countdown. We're going to count down for the tree. Are our tree technicians ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. Two, one. And with that, the Newbury Port Coral Society. Joy to the world.
Society. Great to see you here. Thank you, Jack Santos, for inviting us the second year now to this tree lighting ceremony. We're thrilled to be part of this holiday tradition in this community. We hope you'll come out to our concert next Saturday evening, December 10th at 7.30, and also Sunday, December 11th at 2.30. One of the unique things about this concert is if you come, you will hear a commissioned world premiere of the setting of poetry by Newburyport's own prize-winning poet, Rina Espayat, we've commissioned a composer to set Rina Espayat's poetry. We do hope you'll come join us for this concert entitled In Chara Pox on Earth Peace. And now with some more singing, Away on Angel. Oh. 
first and third, the last one? Yep. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the races. <laughs>
And thank you for all coming out for our third annual Maritime Tree.